I'm auditioning for the new role as lead singer in the band Equilibrium and this is my first shot on Renegades. Let's go! Moin, I'm Thor and um, I'm 34 years old. Right now we're in my production studio here in Hamburg where I currently live 
I grew up between um, Hamburg and Bremen in Lower Saxony after coming here um, to Germany from Iceland when I was seven years old. Um, mainly as a job right now, I am a composer, sound designer, voice actor, we do mixing, mastering, all the kind of good audio stuff. And um, my majority industry right now is the games industry, also did film. Two decades ago, I started as a singer in bands. And um, yeah, kind of from there, also started composing. On a business side, I'm doing that stuff now for 14 years. And yeah, I think that's the majority to know about myself. Okay, enough talking. Let's continue with the next song. This is my shot on Blut im Auge.
as a singer, I have been predominantly singing good old vocals and like everything from black metal to melodic death metal bands. But also I had like a punk band and I was doing cover music. And with cover music, I even financed basically my, my training as, as an opera singer. With that, I toured in 2015, five weeks on the east coast of China with orchestra and uh, complete singer setup. Singing was always a big part of my life, big part of my world. And there's only two years in my life where I more or less stopped singing. Um, but uh, besides that, I have been always in bands and performing in bands. I've been on the road a lot with bands. Um, my last bigger band that I was working with was Aletrun. We, we kind of started from nowhere. I built that band up in Hamburg in 2009. We did seven years music together. Second band or third band, your stuff was just coming out, like the demo. That, that stuff was a big influence on, on their earlier bands. On the um, kind of band backgrounds, I've been always focusing on vocals and composition as well as production of all stuff, but also had my hands in, in the tour management. My way kind of progressed more into the production side with video games as well. It opened up a complete different universe in, in, in uh, technology as well, which also turns into fresh and new ideas sometimes on the composition side, but also on, on the usage of vocals or how to mix them or whatever, all this stuff. You know how it is as a creative, it always comes together at some point and other stuff leads into more different creative ideas. Uh, I've been often producing for my bands as well. So like producing the demos, uh, recording everything and that kind of stuff. So on all of that, I'm kind of good to go. I kind of had a little bit of a break because of the global situation the last years from playing live. And I was just thinking, hey, why not give it a shot again? I'm hungry for the stage. I miss it a lot. I love being on stage. I love performing on stage. I often describe it as the only time I feel really 100% myself and free is when I'm with a band in front of people. I really love the combination of every vocal style combined from shouting to growling to, to clean singing to even classical singing to crunch vocals and you know like really working with the songs going into the material and trying to find the right color and the right voicing for the parts in the music and work with the with the entire composition and see myself as a singer as an additional instrument in the band and not just vocals on top of it lyrics also super important i always want to have like the the idea of conveying a message in the song i even love double messages like positive vibes are a big thing of that but i also love the play between you know light and dark and that kind of stuff not just on the vocal side but also on the message side everything is conflict balance conflict ba balance resolution right that stuff is creating interesting storytelling i love storytelling but really important i think besides the storytelling is also something where you're like okay i can i can get a message out of the lyrics i can get a message out of the emotions of the feeling of the singer and what is the singer without conveying emotions in the performance? It cannot just be pure straight performance that is really targeting the technical stuff. That is also important, you know, like tight, being tight, being good, like really hitting the spots, also hitting the, the, um, the pitch and everything. But yeah, also like having everything at the same time. I love collaborating with people as well with other singers. Um, to to kind of emphasis color and all the kind of stuff on, on on vocals, but also just to to have someone conveying a message differently, and visualizing and feeling what you're singing is key. My opera singing teacher said one important message always, and I kind of took that as a mantra as a singer, and that is you can only sing what you can feel. Same goes in mixing; you can only mix what you hear. Right, so yeah, that's a little bit of my background and views as a singer, as, as uh, a band member, as well as a performing artist, and a little bit on my history in bands and my background in touring.
So let's get to the last song of my submission. Here we go. It's called Rise Again. I like to often record vocals in many different forms and styles for a part to find the best fit for it. What's the best color here on, on a song? Usually when I work on material and when I work on songs, I have the song really done after the studio. So if I'm rehearsing stuff, that's all fine and all good, but I know exactly usually how I want to perform it after I have been going through the recordings and really select, okay, I'm gonna sing it like this here, I'm gonna sing it like that here. And um, yeah, that's that's more like the production side of, of, of working on a, in a band, like on music from my angle. Um, from a value point of view, what I really think is important as a singer, if you 
perform on a stage in front of an audience, what I always believed was the right thing to do is to um, have respect for what the people are doing. The first thing I ever learned, because I knew, okay, music can go freaking wrong, I learned cook. That's one of the first things in life as, as an actual job right after school. And my sous chef always said, hey, the people that are coming into the restaurant to eat are paying a shitload of money, so you better deliver the best you can deliver because what, that's what they're paying for and that's the least they deserve. That's very similar and reflective in performing music on stage. People are coming to see a show because they want to party, break out of their everyday life and have an experience that is like carrying their worries away where they can live in the moment, where they can just be free and feel that. And that's one of the reasons why I feel like that on stage when I am performing. So what I always thought, okay, give your best. There is like, if you are already naked on stage, so to say, not literally, but emotionally naked on stage, there's also no ground um, for people to be disappointed because they can just hook into that and you can all feel it together and just live it fully and, you know, perform and, and just deliver your best. That's what I always believed in and what I always try to do. Things go wrong, of course, that's just every work, every, every job, you know, like stuff just happens. Like that never stops me in just pushing as, as best as I can in performing. There's no excuse to not. Um, I like ideas, I like to talk about ideas, I like to think into different directions, I like to be creative, I like to not be repetitive. Um, but also, if I need to be repetitive, I like to do it the best way, and the most unique way, and the most efficient way of doing it, without, you know, kind of being lazy. But also, I like to be involved. So, well, like, I to be, like to be part of it. I like to have an exchange between people, between band members, and work together. And I'm voicing what I think is good, what I think is, is right. But I'm also listening to what other people are voicing, what they think is good, what they think is right. I like to perform things how I feel them in performance. I have no problem in trying out things as well. Um, that's a little bit working with me. Um, that's of course my subjective perspective. Other people may see it different that are working with me. I have three core values basically. It's honesty, loyalty and passion. That's kind of my three core values. I'm brutally honest sometimes um, as well. I say what I think, not kidding. So as the last thing to say, really, ich freue mich verdammt auf die Zusammenarbeit mit euch, wenn das was wird. Und ich habe richtig Bock.